Hi folks, I'm outside the Folk Pottery Museum of Northeast Georgia. This part of Georgia has a rich tradition in pottery. I collect face jugs as a matter of fact. It's a, one of the forms of pottery that's prevalent here in the North Georgia mountains. Uh, inside I'm told that they have a lot of them and since I fell in love with the art form before I knew much of the history, perhaps we'll go inside and learn a little bit about them. So come on in to the Folk Pottery Museum of Northeast Georgia here at Sauti Nakuchi. What would any southern museum be without a moonshine still? Look at the little corn they've been squeezing in the tiny little face jugs. I don't think this is a kiln. I think it does demonstrate a use for pottery. Hard to think of a better one right now. I think we just landed on the island of broken pottery. If you know someone getting married, and you want to give them a really unique gift, what about a wedding jug? Traditionally represented with at least three spouts. Think about it next time you're giving out a gift. Whiskey jug. I have to admit I'm a little disappointed that there are not three X's drawn on it. Oh well. It'll still hold whiskey. The family that's most associated with the North Georgia School of Pottery is the Metters family. And here's some examples a Metters Folk Pottery. Ha! 
Hi there, little fella. Smoke, it'll stunt your growth. Some more fine examples of Metters pottery. Very collectible. I have one piece of Metters pottery. And I had to give up Christmas and birthdays for two years. Wake up! And now we're getting to my favorite subject of folk pottery, the face jug. You know what's strange? How some forms of art strike a chord with some people. And some people may consider this art form strange. But it appeals to me. I have to think that these faces are faces that these artists know probably and are parroting or even trying to capture what they think they look like in their own minds. I really hope nobody looks like that. Some examples of face pottery from the Huell family. I have a couple of pieces that came from Wayne and from Ms. Grace Nell Huell. Another important family in the North Georgia folk pottery movement. Ooh, some more very nice examples of face jug pottery. This guy's too faced about it. Oh, I'm the devil. No, you're not. I am. Be our guest, be our guest. These are wonderful examples of face jug pottery. Looks like they like to keep the, the derpy ones on the end of the displays. I still like it. I have a, Actually, this is probably the one I would buy. <laughs> now this guy's pretty diabolical looking, huh? Got the whole devil and snake thing going on at the same time. Yeah, that's where you want to hide your valuables. Who is going to win this fight, you think? I don't know. Roosters are pretty tough, but my money's still on the snake. 